Well, 450 students go to Youngstown City preschools this school year. That's more than last year, and the district says it's thanks to expanding preschools hours. In the last hour, we told you about how the district wants to see those numbers grow even more. Now, First News reporter Tyler Trill is live in the studio again with a look at the advantages of all-day preschool. Hey there, Mandy. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., preschoolers in Youngstown Schools District aren't only preparing for kindergarten, but also for school further in the future. It was lunchtime for preschoolers at McGuffey Elementary when I stopped in today. It may look like these children are just enjoying tater tots and chocolate milk, but the interactions they're having with their classmates are very important. It's a feeder to kindergarten and having them in preschool programs this early, they can uh, develop the skills, especially social skills that they need in order to start kindergarten at the right age. Last year, the students would spend half the day at a class, hop on a bus and spend the second half in another classroom. This year, after they're done with lunch, they're staying in the same class. The preschool expansion allows that. Less transition for the students so that they could stay in one building and they also have access to more teachers in the same classroom. McGuffey Elementary School has eight preschool classrooms. Last year, they only had six, and the district plans to continue to grow, with Williamson Elementary having preschool starting next month. The expansion has kids learning more. The district says preschoolers are getting 770 more hours of instruction. We can do project-based approach, and they, the students can learn on activities that they are interested in. With more time at preschool, the district is hoping for a brighter future though the results may not be seen right away. Really ensure that um, you're focusing on the, on, the, on the long game too. Sometimes people just want to see you making the metrics over the next two or three years. Now, if you'd like to sign your child up for preschool, you can find the contact information on our website, WKBN.com. A child who lives in the district can start at any time in the school year. Live in the studio tonight, Tyler Trill, 27 First News at 6.